couple of weeks ago, my school was threatened by a gun threat. Someone had threatened the lives of my friends, my teachers, and myself. Sure, it was probably some kind of useless prank as all my classmates kept telling me, but what if it wasn't? I believe that tragedy in one community should engender compassion and empathy rather than blame and scorn directed at another community. I believe that we should come together to learn about each other's lives and existence. In psychiatry, we try to integrate all these different points of view, the biological, the psychological, the societal and cultural aspects which are also raised in this play. And my emotional response to this brings me back to the Sikh shooting and how did that despondent adult get access to lethal means, turn it on peace-loving people and then himself. Gun violence is preventable. And what is equally true is that we can prevent gun violence in ways that are respectful to gun owners. When Sandy Hook happened uh, three years ago and two months ago, three years, two months ago, and uh, remember looking at that and thinking, is this the unsolvable problem of our generation? It is how we handle the unexpected that keeps us moving forward and makes us human. So when this happened, I was proud of our people when they turned the other cheek. They taught forgiveness. They taught how to even pray for that gentleman who had just murdered their own. And we constantly preached it, walked it, lived it for a long time.